is to hide this weary soul this bag of bones oh i try with all my might but i just can't win the fight i'm slowly drifting a vagabond just swim to be Another one, I am free. I am free. Yes, I am free. Hell lost another one. I am free. I am free. Yes, I am free. Hell lost another one. I am free. I am free. I am free. Hell lost another one. I am free. I am free. I am free. Hell lost another one. and so thankful and we want you to know that on behalf of all of us our desire for every single one of us in this room tonight 
is that we would just set aside all the distractions, all the bells and whistles, and we would just get back to worship. Worship of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I don't know what stress or worries or fears that you brought into this place with you tonight, but our prayer is that you would lay them all at the feet of Jesus. You are here on purpose for a purpose, and we believe that God is going to move this evening, and so we want to thank you for being here. I want to share briefly with you a passage from Revelation chapter 2, beginning at verse 2. God is speaking in the book of Revelation, and this is a message to the church at Ephesus. He says, I know all the things you do. I have seen your hard work and your patient endurance. I know you don't tolerate evil people. You have examined the claims of those who say they are apostles, but are not. You have discovered they are liars. You have patiently suffered for me without quitting. But then he says this, but I have this complaint against you. You don't love me or each other as you did at first. Look how far you've fallen. Turn back to me and do the works you did at first. And so tonight our desire is that every single one of us, regardless of where we are in our walk, in our life, in our faith, that we would return to our first love. That tonight we might remember that we might repent and that we might return. I think of my little girls at home, and some of them are not so little anymore. They have this uncanny ability to recall promises that I made that I didn't even remember making. And they are not afraid to leverage those and to bring those up and to be honest with me in conversation and say, Dad, do you remember those promises that you made to me? As their earthly father, I have plenty of flaws and I often forget those promises. But the good news that we celebrate tonight is that we can serve a God, that we serve a God who does not forget his promises that he has made to us. Amen. And it is our prayer that we would not forget those promises that God has made to us. That we can remember the goodness of God, the promises of God, and the love of God. In a lot of ways, it has become very easy for you and I to overcomplicate faith we've sort of resorted to this performance-based faith where we've become more concerned with impressing people than worshiping our Savior. And so tonight, we just want to strip all of that nonsense away and want to get back to the importance, back to the core of who we are designed to be, and that is worshipers of Jesus Christ. And so tonight, for some of us, maybe that means that we repent, that we get honest with God, that we confess sin, that we repent from that, that we, that we not only acknowledge it and give it lip service, but that we actually turn from it. And that ultimately we would return. You see, it's easy to, to get wrapped up in our feelings on a night like tonight, and we sing the songs, we think the right things, we even speak the right words. But in the end, it requires some action on our part. And that is to return. And so I asked the question, how much is Jesus worth to you? Is Jesus worth the follow through? So our prayer tonight, again, is that we would all remember, repent, and return. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for tonight. And Father, we thank you for, God, all that you're already orchestrating in this place tonight. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would soften hardened hearts. God, that you would break chains. Father, that you would set people free. Father, I pray that tonight would be real. Father, that we would lay all of our guilt and filth and sin at your feet in complete surrender. And Father, give you the worship that you are so worthy and deserving of. Father, we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.
the tears of my heart You found me, you freed me Held back the waters for my release Oh Yahweh You're the God who fights for me Lord of every victory Hallelujah, hallelujah You have torn apart the sea You have led me through the deep Hallelujah, hallelujah A cloud by day is a sign that you are with me The fire by night is the guiding light to my feet You found me, you freed me Held back the waters for my release Oh Yahweh You're the God who fights for me Cause you stepped into my Egypt You took me by the hand You marched me out of freedom Into the promised land And I will not forget you, God I'll sing of all you've done Death is swallowed up forever By the fury of your love Cause you stepped into my Egypt took me by the hand, you marched me out of freedom, into the promised land, now I will not forget you, God, I'll sing of all you've done, death is swallowed up forever, by the fury of your love, you're the God who fights for me, Lord There's a name that levels mountains Cause our highways through the seas we see his power and rebel battles Right in front of me There's 
There's a paint that stands to fire Sends Goliath to his knees I've seen his praise and rabble shackles Right off my feet That's the power of your name Just a mention makes a way Giants fall and strongholds break And there is healing That's the power that I claim It's the same that rolled the grave There's no power like the mighty name of Jesus There's a hope that calls out. There's a hope that calls out courage. In the furnace unafraid. The cunning daring expectation that every prayer I make is on an empty grave. That's the to the enemy's camp You still do miracles You will do what you say For you're the same God now that you've always been Your spirit moving out Your kingdom moving in Your victory claims the ground that the enemy Amen. Would you praise God for that tonight? Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he has done for me. Shining bright for all to see. Oh God, I will praise you. Magnificent with grace unending. You rescue us with the love that never fails. 
Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence me. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, we call these bones to be. Call these lungs to sing once again. I praise Jesus, Cristo. La oscuridad que mente, Cristo, Cristo. No temeré, Cristo, Cristo. La oscuridad que mente, Cristo, Cristo. Same thing for 
as a whole is about confession. So in this moment, we're going to move from confessing to God who he is to confessing to him who we are and why we need him so desperately. So the beauty of our relationship with God is that even though we have fallen, we get to come back to him, to the Almighty. We get to see God. Our sins and our iniquity are not enough to keep us away. So right now, we are going to take some time to appreciate the character of God. This God who had every right to leave us, but still keeps coming back. Who understands the people he keeps coming back for and still sees value. So if you will join me, we'll be doing another responsive reading. This is Psalm 51, 1 through 7. I'll read the white and we can all read the yellow. It says, have mercy on me, O God, because of your unfailing love. Because Because of of your your great great compassion, compassion, blot out the stain of my sins. Wash me clean from my guilt, purify me from my sin. For I recognize my rebellion. It haunts me day and night. Against you and you alone have I sinned. I have done what is evil in your sight. You You will will be proved proved right in what you say. And your judgment against me is just. For I was born a sinner. Yes, from the moment my mother conceived me. But you you desire desire honesty from the womb. Teaching me wisdom even there. Purify me from my sins and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Would you join me for prayer? God, thank you. See us in our darkest moments. You see us in our sin and you still see value in us. Thank you. Lord, please help us to make much of you in everything we do. Become the center of our lives and help us to realize that all of us is what you desire. In your beautiful name, amen. So now we're gonna transition into a time of response. We've got some note cards and the elements of communion up front. So (laughs) in just a few minutes, I'm gonna have you guys come up and grab the elements and the, uh, the note cards. Tonight we have been worshiping the character of God and we acknowledge what it means for him to keep coming back for us. While we rest in this time of communion with God, I want to ask you guys to take those cards and fill them out thinking about these two things. First, how do we respond to a God who is willing to accept us with all of our faults? And second, what does accepting God into our lives as a vital relationship mean? How does that change our lives? So as you go and get the bread that was torn so that we could be whole, and the juice that represents the blood that was poured out to clean us whiter than snow, I want you to think about what your relationship with God should be and what coming into community with God should change about your lives. So you guys are welcome to go up and get the elements.
to awake my soul, wake my spirit, God. Come awake my spirit, God. Wake my spirit, awake my spirit, God. is around me nothing stands between me and my God and the fear that was my prison is no longer where I'm living There's nothing stands between me and my God but there's no place I go that he is not where the spirit of the Lord is Oh, there is freedom But we'll be dancing through the darkness Cause we believe it Every stronghold has to break Up the name of Jesus Where the Spirit of the Lord is Oh, there is freedom When the ground below is shaking my joy cannot be taken Cause nothing stands between me and my God So I'm looking to Jesus Through a veil that's torn to pieces Cause nothing stands between me and my God Where the Spirit of the Lord is oh, There is freedom Where we dancing through the dark Cause we believe in Every stronghold has to pray At the name of Jesus Where the Spirit of the Lord is There is freedom So watch the lies break off Watch the enemy flee Watch the walls come crumbling down when the people of God sing. Hear the heavenly roar, the very heart set free. Hear the chains of shame hit the ground when the people of God sing. Watch the lies break off, watch the enemy flee. Watch the walls come crumbling down. Sing in the heavenly roar, who every heart set free. Hear the chains of shame hit the ground when the people of God sing. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, who there is freedom. We'll be dancing through the darkness, cause we believe it. Every stronghold has to break. At the name of Jesus Where the Spirit of the Lord is Where the Spirit of the Lord is Oh, there is freedom We'll be dancing through the darkness Cause we believe it Every stronghold has to pray At the name of Jesus Where the Spirit of the Lord is there is freedom, oh, there is freedom, there is freedom, there is freedom. Tonight I just want to invite you guys to read some scripture with us. There is power and saying these words out loud together right here right now so i'm going to say the words in white and if you will just read the words in yellow with amy here we go i will give thanks to the lord with my whole heart i will recount all of your wonderful deeds i will be glad and exult in you and i will sing praise to your name O most high 
But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has established his throne for justice. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord who sits enthroned in Zion. Tell among the people his deeds, and we sing praises to the Lord. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind because i know there is peace within your presence i speak jesus i just want to speak the name of jesus Every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Cause your name is power Your name is healing Your name is
kiss into your loving hands and I am yours I am yours I want to invite you for a moment to be seated So tonight, we have praised God because of what he's done. We've praised God for who he is. And we've spent time worshiping through what we believe God has called us to do, which is to speak the name of Jesus to everyone that we possibly can. And I think one of the most powerful things that the church can do is to pray. So we're going to take some time right now, and I want to encourage you. This might be a little out of your comfort zone, but I want you to find a couple of people around you. We're just going to circle up around this room, and we're going to pray together. So if you would do that, if you would stand and just find a few people that you could circle up with, and I'm going to guide us through some prayers that I have felt God laying on my heart that I think that he wants us as a church to do. Matthew 28, 20 says, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So first I want to invite you and ask you, would you take time in your group to pray for our church? Pray for First Christian Church that we would be a Matthew 28, a disciple-making church. Would you do that now? There is a beautiful truth that we are not the only church in Dodd City. That is a joyful truth to know that there are other churches in our community. And I want to ask you now, would you pray for all of the churches of Dodd City, that they would be filled with the Holy Spirit, that they would be honoring to God, that they would be busting at the seams with people who need and want to know Jesus. Oftentimes in our Sunday services, Dusty uses a phrase where he says, the capital C church. This is the church. This is the bride of Christ, and it's all around the entire world. 
much, most of the church is the persecuted church. These are people who are choosing to live for Christ under penalty of death. They live in countries where they can't even speak the name of Jesus out loud without being put in prison. But yet those are the countries where the church is growing the quickest because people have recognized and understood through the power of the Holy Spirit that God is everything and our life without him is nothing. So would you take time now just to pray for the church around the world that we would be able to stand together and those of us who get to worship in freedom could encourage and pray and lift up those who are persecuted. Would you pray? Heavenly Father, we come to you right now as a church family. We just humbly kneel at your feet, our hands open, our hearts surrendered. We praise you, God, for who you are. We thank you for what you have done. God, we understand our purpose and our calling, that we were created to worship, and worship is love expressed. So, Lord, I pray that as we leave this place tonight, that we would carry out the truth of these songs, the truth of these words we have spoken and prayed, that you loved us so much that you gave your son for us, that we are forgiven and we are redeemed and we are free. Not only us, but every single person that we come in contact with who chooses to accept Jesus has that same gift. So, Lord, help us to be bearers of the name of Jesus Christ. God, we look forward to the things that you're going to do. We know that there is much more to come. We know that the church will stand forever, that it will never be shaken. It will never be gone because it is your bride. And what you do, what you say, what you start, you finish. And so, God, we put all our hope and all our trust and all our love, all of our life into you and into the church. God, help us to get up out of these seats tonight and walk out of this place as the church, that we would make a difference in this community, that we would support our brothers and sisters in other churches, that we would love the people who need to be loved. And God, that we would pray fervently for the church around the world, for those who are giving their lives daily just simply to speak your name. God, you're not done yet. And we're excited to see what you're going to do next. We praise you, we honor you, and we worship you tonight. Why don't you stand up? We got one last song. We're going to celebrate that God is not done. And we're just going to sing together and we're going to worship him. God of the future, you see beginning and end. God of the rescue, God of the breakthrough, how great is your faithfulness. You're not done yet. No eye has ever seen, no ear has ever be enough you promised we would trust and greater things are still ahead you're not done yet you're not done yet God in my 
my seeking, God in my dreaming, you put a song in my soul. God in the working, God I'm believing, you'll do the impossible. Your promise we will trust And greater things are still ahead You're not done yet You're not done yet You're not done yet You're not done yet, You're, not done yet. You're up to something right now Doing a new thing right now. God, let your glory come down. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Here we go. You're up to something right now. You're doing a new thing right now. God, let your glory. And greater things are still ahead. You're not done yet. You're not done yet. You're not done yet. And greater things are still to come. You're not done yet. Amen. Amen. Hey, let's pray. Father, you are so good, and we do worship you tonight and you alone. And we thank you for your presence that was here tonight. God, and I pray that that presence would go with us, Father, as we go out of these doors to wherever we go, and that we would just continue to worship you with our lives and with just our very being. God, thank you so much for Jesus. It's in his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a great night.